So my research lab really focuses on uh, conservation wildlife genetics, which is using genetic tools and population genetic theory to better manage, conserve, and hopefully ultimately understand wildlife communities. And one of the really critical questions within this realm of wildlife conservation genetics that has really emerged over the last, um, the last 20 years is inbreeding. So assessing inbreeding, which is mating between relatives, and then the fitness consequences associated with inbreeding, which is inbreeding depression in wild populations. And these are really emerging and critical questions for wildlife conservation, because in this kind of new human dominated landscape that most of our wildlife is um, living and persisting within, habitat change combined with uh, global climate change is really isolating and reducing populations into um, habitat islands or real islands, which increases the probability of inbreeding and these negative fitness consequences associated with it because animals can't move now easily between populations. And this is really critical in large mammals and even more critical when you think about Isle Royal wolves. Isle Royal is really an emblematic population, sort of a model system for broadly understanding inbreeding and the impacts of it on a population. Where the historic population declines of Isle Royal wolves is really driven um, by inbreeding between um, a rel close relatives on an island where there was very little infusion of new genetic material into that population. And now, in partnership, in partnership with the National Park Service and the other uh, wolf researchers involved in Isle Royal, we have this great opportunity from the very start of a new cohort of wolves to both monitor and mitigate inbreeding depression with um, new cutting edge genomic tools that my lab's helping develop so that we can track uh, how um, individuals mate, who do they mate with, what is the reproductive output, and ultimately be able to help predict and understand when new intervention might be needed, um, as well as to better uh, reduce the potential impacts associated with inbreeding. And this is really incredibly critical for Isle Royal. Like I said, that historic population uh, decline was associated um, primarily with inbreeding, but it's also broadly important globally. And we can really use Isle Royal as this model to help develop these tools and better understand the impacts on these isolated populations.